Once upon a time, in the beautiful city of Dubai, there lived a cute little girl named Haya. Haya had sparkling eyes that shone with curiosity and a heart filled with endless love and kindness. She lived with her parents in a cozy little house surrounded by tall palm trees and colorful flowers. Haya loved everything about her life in the UAE. She loved going to school where she learned new things every day and played with her friends during recess. But her absolute favorite thing to do was talking to the birds in the morning. Every morning as the golden sun rose in the sky, Haya would step out into her garden and call out to the birds. Good morning, my feathered friends. She would sing with joy. And just like magic, birds of all colors and sizes would flock to her. They perched on the branches of the trees, their melodious chirping filling the air. Haya would tell them about her dreams and adventures. And the birds would listen intently as if they understood every word. Sometimes they would even sing back to her, creating a symphony of happiness. It was a magical bond between the little girl and her winged friends. One day, however, Haya woke up feeling sad. Her voice was hoarse and she could barely speak, let alone sing. She rushed to her garden and tried to call out to the birds but her weak voice couldn't reach them. Haya's heart sank and tears welled up in her eyes. She missed her friends and she longed to share her stories with them. Haya's parents noticed her sadness and asked her what was wrong. She explained her predicament, her voice trembling with disappointment. Her mother gently hugged her and said, don't worry my dear, Sometimes things don't go as planned, but there's always a way to find a solution. Inspired by her mother's words, Haya had an idea. She asked her parents for help and explained that she needed a birdhouse to invite the birds to visit her up close. Her father smiled and agreed to build a beautiful birdhouse together. With determination in her heart, Haya and her father spent the whole day crafting the perfect birdhouse. They painted it with vibrant colors and added a little swing for the birds to play on. It was a work of art. The next morning, as the sun's rays peeked through the horizon, Haya's voice was still weak, but her excitement was strong. She stepped outside with her birdhouse in her hand and gently call out to the birds. To her amazement, the birds noticed her colorful creation and flew down to investigate. The birds hopped onto the swing and fluttered inside the birdhouse, chirping happily. Haya may not have been able to speak, but her eyes spoke volumes of joy and gratitude. She had found a way to connect with her feathered friends even without her voice. Haya's friends, who had missed her presence in the garden, were thrilled to have her back among them. They would take turns on the swing, sing beautiful songs, and Haya would listen with all her heart. Their bond grew stronger, and Haya felt a sense of belonging and love. Soon Haya's throat felt better and she was able to join them with her singing. The little girl learned a valuable lesson during this experience. Sometimes life presents us with obstacles, but with determination, creativity and the help of loved ones, we can overcome them and find alternate paths to our dreams. And so Haya's garden became a place of friendship and harmony where the birds and humans coexisted in perfect harmony. From that day forward, Haya and her feathered friends continue to share stories, 
dreams and songs, creating a symphony of love.